Hello everyone and welcome to this video series where I recommend the latest DAS models and assets that I think will add value to your images and scenes in DAS Studio. In this video I'll be going through an overview of the DAS 3D shop and what to look for when purchasing Genesis 8 HD characters. So let's get started. Okay so here we are on the DAS 3D website if we go to the DAS 3D shop. And I'll give you a quick overview of the actual shop. So here we've got the models and assets in different categories. So we've got people and wearables, animals and creatures, places and things, animation and poses, resources and add-ons, and the vendor. Now this section here is normally where all the sales are. So anything DAS 3D are having a sale on is normally in this section here. A bit further down where it says what's hot. So these are the things that DAS 3D are trying to push for people to buy over here. And if you scroll down, you'll see that it's always sorted via new arrivals. So these are the things that are brand new that have just arrived and DAS 3D wants you to buy basically. Okay, so if you go back to the top and we'll go through the actual categories. So people are wearables, quite self-explanatory. It's just basically the different figures. So Genesis 8, Genesis 3, Genesis 2, Genesis 1. Uh, tune, tune characters, so tune figures, um, hairs, clothing and accessories and bundles. So in this category you would also have the figures, you would have the clothes, you would have the hair, you have different accessories, so it could be um, necklaces, you know, uh, bracelets, things like that, things of that nature, uh, which would be in this category. If we go back, animals and creatures, quite self-explanatory again. Uh, this just obviously has all the different animals you can buy, the, the different animal figures, the different, look, we've got dinosaurs, tunes, fantasy creatures, sci-fi creatures and bundles, which I'll explain in a bit. In, in a bit. If we go back, places and things. So places and things are literally normally backdrops, they're normally vehicles, um, you know, um, actual physical things you could put inside your inside your image, inside your renders. So here you can just put, for example, trees. We've got this here. Over here they've got, what's this, Z, up for drink props and poses. So in this case, you not only are you getting some props, you're getting poses as well, which is great value for money. Okay. And if we go back to animation and poses. So this is quite obvious. So these are all animations, expressions, pinup modeling, combat fighting, interactive figures. So these are different poses and animations that you can filter down into. So if, for example, we go here, we have a look at, I don't know, here, Z tipsy, drunk poses and expressions for Genesis 3 and Genesis 8. So these are poses and facial expressions for your figures if you have a Genesis 3 figure or a Genesis 8 figure to that you can apply. So that's quite good value for money as well. Okay, and if we go back to resources and add-ons. So these are extra things. So these resources and add-ons would be things like a bit more advanced, but it would be things like lighting, so preset lightings, preset shaders, uh, preset plugins and software. So for example, if we go here, uh, example will be this, multi-purpose gradient, shady, gradient shaders for iRay. So these are literally iRay shaders that you would add onto, onto specific props. Um, so that's what these add-ins are. So here you've got color shock. So these are HDR lights, which I will cover later on in a tutorial. Um, these are just extra lights that you can use to uh, enhance your images. Okay. And then you've obviously got tutorials and curriculum. So these, so they are vendors that are created tutorials that go into very, very in-depth information about the different areas in DAS 3D. And some of them are very good. Some of them are very pricey. Some of them are very good. I mean, we can have a look at that. And there you go, some tutorials there. Um, they are quite pricey. Right, so 
bundles. So if we go to peoples and wearables and we go to bundles, I'll just explain a bit about bundles. So if we go to say Mr. Wu Pro Bundle, just an example, just as an example. So here we see the artists are Daz Originals. So Daz 3D, uh, the Daz 3D artist actually created this character. It's compatible figures. So it's compatible with Genesis 8 Mail. So as long as you've got Genesis 8 Mail, which we have, because it's free and the, it's, the Genesis 8 Mail starter kit is free. So that that's, this will work. Mr. Wu would work in that case. Compatible with this software, Daz Studio 4.10, which is the latest version of Daz Studio that everyone has. So that's fine. Install types. Look at the individual products in this bundle for install types. So if we scroll down, it tells you here this product includes the following products. So in bundles, what, what you get is you normally get lots of clothes, lots of props, some poses, some hairstyles, some expressions. You do get quite a wide variety of things in bundles. So here you can see you get the DeForce outfit, sweater, traditional outfit. Obviously you get Mr. Wu, the actual figure. Here you even get an extra figure with uh, HD, which I'll explain HD in a bit, Mr. Wu and HD version. Um, you get um, more clothes, it looks like. You get this cool beard and cool hair. Uh, you get some poses as well. And uh, looks like you get some more poses and expressions and some more hair and another HD uh, character and HD figure. So that's what bundles are, bundles. A very good value for money. Um, so if you, if you actually, if you add all the total of all these bundles up, it's quite possible that it's even if the, if you add the total of all these products up, it's actually more than the bundle price. So bundle prices are very, very good uh, value for money. So that's what you normally get with bundles. So it doesn't matter if it's bundles in, in the people's category or in, um, I think you had it in places and things. Yeah. See so places and things, you have bundles as well. So it's still very good value for money because um, obviously individually those items would cost a lot more. Right, so the main point of this tutorial, uh, this video series was to cover what models and assets I think are going to improve your images. Now the number one thing that will definitely improve your images is to have HD versions of your Genesis 8 characters. So if I type in HD Genesis, Genesis, eight female because I've got loads of Genesis 8 females. I'll do the same with male in a bit. So HD Genesis 8 female. So here you can see all the HD versions of Genesis 8 female. So I'm going to do show all and that will bring it down here. So if I click on, we'll just click on something that looks really good. Um, yeah, we'll click on, yeah, we'll click on Shauna HD. Okay. So what do I mean by HD? So if we click on this picture here, just zoom in a bit more. So when I mean HD, I mean, if you have a look at this actual picture here, this, this is what I mean by HD. You can see like the pores here. You can see the little imperfections. You can see some translucency here on the nose. Look at the detail of the lips. You can see like the grooves and everything, the textures and everything. That's what I mean by HD. Even look at the eyes. They look very realistic. So if you can imagine putting a HD figure into your into your scene, and if you're doing a portrait like this, for example, a portrait like this, how realistic does that look? It looks absolutely amazing. So you can imagine how great that looks compared to the basic tutorial that I did, that Genesis 8 character. It was good, wasn't that good compared to this. If you have a look at this, how amazingly realistic is this? It's, it's very, very good. Um, very good Genesis 8 figure HD version. So definitely when you're going through the shop, look, when you're looking through HD, HD, uh, figures, always zoom in, have a look. You're looking for these kind of telltale signs, these realistic textures here, even these kind of wrinkles under the eyes. That's what you're looking for. And that will make your rent, your images, your scene look really, really good, especially when you're doing portraits, even if you're doing, you know, things from a distance, it will still definitely add value to your, to your images. Definitely well worth the money. Now I'm not telling you to buy this one. Obviously you buy the one, you buy the figure that suits you. So for example, in this one here, it tells you the artists, Daz Originals and Emery's, those are the vendors. Genesis 8 female. So long as you have Genesis 8 female, 
that will work. That's Studio. Now with this one here, it required products. You must have Victoria 8, otherwise this product won't work. Okay, so don't do what I did. I went and purchased, not this product, a similar product somewhere else. And I went to Das Studio and I had a look. I said, where's my product? It's not working, what's going on? Went back and read it, went back, went back to the product, read it again properly. And it said, oh, I need Victoria 8. What did I do? I went and bought Victoria 8. That's what I had to do. So always double check and double read these things here. I don't just buy on an impulse like I did. Right. So obviously with, with, with your characters, you don't get the hair and you don't get the clothes and you don't get these extra props here. All you get is just a physical figure. Okay. So even though these, these photos look amazing, you don't get the, the clothes, these bangles, the hair. It's a good sell, sell selling kind of tactic really. So if we go here, the last one here, this actually tells you what you get. So we get these eyes, you get the lip, different lipstick colors, you get the different uh, eye eyebrows colors, oh, sorry, the makeup colors here, and you get the different eyebrow colors. Um, if you scroll down here, it actually tells you more what you get. So you get the full character, the head, the body, the nails, the nipples, the navel, the actual character, materials. Um, you get them eight makeup options, three lie linear options. So that will be your makeup um, blusher options, gloss strength of the actual skin and the lip colors and eight realistic eye colors. Okay. So that's the female. If we go to HD Genesis 8 male. The same thing applies, so show all. Let's go to super point one. Let's go here, Joel H for London 8. Joel HD, sorry for London 8. So if you click here on his face, I click again, there we go. So again, we're looking for these kind of realistic features. I mean, look at those eyebrows. I mean, it doesn't get any, doesn't get any realistic than that, look at that. And you've got the pores here, got some nice translucency kind of effect here as well. Lips look realistic, the beard looks realistic. So again, with the Genesis 8, uh, with Joel, H Joel HD for London 8, you don't get any of the clothes, so don't let them fool you. You just get the kind of basic things. So make sure to always double check and read what you actually get, okay? And again, in this case, if we go to here, required products, Landon 8. So you need to have Landon 8 for this actual figure to work in Dash Studio. So here we are again with the Genesis 8 females. And I just wanted to state that by the character or the figure that you are attracted to, that you like the look of, don't buy something just because it's HD. Because obviously if you don't like the figure, you're not going to use it. As you can see, my kind of Dash Studio, I bought a lot of figures and generally I probably only use about four or five of them, the ones that I actually like and the rest I don't really use. So that's money wasted, isn't it? So there you go. And you obviously, once you buy something on Dash 3D, I think you can give it back, but it's kind of difficult to get your money back. Well, I've never actually tried it, but that's another story. Uh, also, one more thing, last tip is if you're interested in something and it's at full price, Never ever buy at full price because chances are the following day, the following week, even the following month, they'll have a sale and it will be, you know, 30% off, 40% off, 50% off, 60% off. I've seen things up to 70% off and, you know, it's definitely worth waiting to buy, buy then when there's a sale. Never ever buy at full price. Okay, and to show you very quickly, an example. So if I go to figures, a really good one is this Leone HD. Just to show you that the pictures that they actually show are, you know, in the actual products files on the actual Daz, Daz 3D shop. They are, you know, very accurate. So if we go here, if I just zoom in on her face, which I can do by doing this. That's a bit silly on me, there you go. Oh, that's a bit too close. Let's go down here, just rotate a bit so we can see everything. Let's let that render for a bit. So this is the Leone HD. So you can see 
obviously she hasn't got any hair on anything but just ignore that this is the default kind of thing you get default figure you're getting with the only hd and you can see how realistic it, realistic it is i mean look at the ears they look very realistic the eyebrows just take that off the eyebrows look at the eyes look at the um the lips there you know it's got all the textures and everything so that's what i mean by hd that will make a lot of difference to your images whether you are like i said doing it from you know doing a portrait like this for example or if you're just having them in a scene wherever that may be that will you know really make a lot of difference so i hope i've helped um, to give you a bit of insight of how the das 3d shop works and you know which characters how you can definitely uh, make your images and scenes a lot better just by buying the hd quality versions of genesis 8 characters whether it's male or female doesn't matter and you know you'll see a big improvement obviously in your in your images and another thing is make sure you never ever buy a any prop or anything from the das studio uh, das 3d shop uh, at full price always wait for a sale because they will always have a sale whether you're getting 30 percent off all the up to i've seen things up to 70 percent off so always make sure to wait and you know buy that character when it's on sale so that's it for this video tutorial i hope you've found this information useful if you have make sure to give it a like give it a thumbs up leave a comment at the bottom and make sure you subscribe so you get to see some more uh, recommendations that i recommend from the daz 3d shop